he couldn't find the church. Yeah, he couldn't find our church. That, yeah, that's like still <laughs> weird. Though. Hey, guys. Hey. This is my girlfriend right here. This is my sweetie. My aunt. My sister, whatever. My you niece. Yes. Yeah, actually, you actually could be my daughter. You know the same age of Brad. No, I, I, I'll be your little girl. <laughs> I always want a little girl. And, and I've talked with Larissa about this. When Brad and Larissa got married, I said, oh, you know, I've always wanted a little girl I could dress up in frilly dresses and stuff like that. And she said, you're not planning on dressing me up in frilly dresses, are you? And I said, no, you're a little too old for that. <laughs> you may have to Brad and Larissa. Yes, ma'am. Okay, honey, where are we at now? <laughs> I didn't do my hair on that now. Your hair looks good. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> well, see, mine's just washed, and when it's just Mine's washed, yeah. mine is so much better when it's filthy. Second day hair, third day hair's third best. Day. Yes. Oh. See, Phil, this is what I get. This is what I deal with. Like, well, yeah. see, this is like mine. There's yeah. no body to yeah. it, there, and plus the you know rainy and all, all that the humidity. Just kind of terrible. All right, and it took it forever to get, to get dry today. Of course, I mean everything is so damp out there. <laughs> We got some folks coming in. I We're going to have a party. I, I, I wasn't <laughs> planning on it, but hey. <laughs> we got a party going on here. No. <laughs> is this okay with the hair? Or is oh, that yeah. going to no, I, no, I don't want to not bother blocking anything. a thing. Okay. Everything's just right. And then everything's turned the way it should. This is your microphone right here. Hi, tight, tight, tight. And then mine just happens to be going through this thing, but through Bluetooth. That's, that's, that's something. I love uh, Bluetooth. I, I, and I get to hold the microphone because yeah. like I'm singing. <laughs> We're about to go in. Okay. Alright, we're about to go in. Good afternoon. My name is Donna Fiesel, and I'm your host of Afternoon Drive Home on Z13, your Fox News affiliate and your source for Southern Gospel. Thank you so much for listening to us every day, Monday through Friday from 1 to 3 p.m. Central, Central, as I get to ride home with you in the afternoon. It's always my pleasure. I love talking with you, and I do appreciate the way you respond to our advertisers as well. And, you know, a lot of folks go down there and talk to Bobby Ledbetter, uh -huh. right? We're at the Alabama Fan Club right now in Fort Payne, and I was just looking, and I'm wondering if Bobby and Andy are <laughs> going, hey! Some of those, I'm just <laughs> waving at them, so I'm hoping they're... You know, I got Bobby Ledbetter spoiled one day. I love it. Wow. I went down there, and, and I said, let's do a Facebook Live, and he goes, he always calls me Miss Dawn. And he said, Miss Donna, I don't do no Facebook Live. Facebook Live. No, I don't want to do that. And so I made him do it. And it's it's like I turned him into, he's a monster now. That's it's just awesome. like, oh, he loves it. That's the thing. Once you get John on, he you know, he acts like, no, 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 no. Once he gets on, you will not get another word in. So, no way. Yeah. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> I know exactly. You know, there's a number of ways you can listen to us and to the station and to Afternoon Drive Home. You can go to AfternoonDriveHome.com and listen on the web. That's right. Listen that way. TV Cable Channel. You know we're on TV right now, I too. Fox Affiliate, man. TV Cable Channel 10. <laughs> Located in Scottsboro. Yep. So they've got it going on so there. And another way that you can listen to us is on Facebook.com forward mm -hmm. slash D Fiesel. I went out and met a whole bunch of people today that are probably watching. I went to the hospital down here. Really? It's the DeKalb County mm -hmm. Hospital and talked to some folks out there. And there's some people just kind of walked up to me and said, Can I have one of your cards? And I said, Yeah, but now you need to like me on Facebook, okay? <laughs> um, and I like you right back, I promise. I'll take all the well, friends I can well, get. That's the thing. Mine's been stuck at 5,000 for years <laughs> that's now. The and people go, so, I can't be your friend. But they can follow you. Yeah, they can follow me. So so I said, just follow me, and I'll follow you right back. And so sometimes that's what if I do. really know them, I'll go find somebody I really don't know and delete them. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I've been asked, do you know all 5,000 of these people? And and I, I pretty much well. Well, I mean, mine you know, like 90% because, fans. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. And 10% fans. Mine. Mm, true, true. And we got a lot of folks who listen to us from Charlotte, North Carolina. You dog it. I miss all those buddies down there, so it's good seeing y'all. Thank y'all for following us, too. I do appreciate it. Um, I have Sally Gentry right, right now with me, but now coming up, we're going to be hanging around here just a little bit longer today. At 3 o'clock, Alabama Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame, Jack Lord is going to be with us. Stay I'm tuned for that. that. Why don't you hang around for that one? I'll see if I can. Yeah, I'll see, see if what's you going can. on with Johnny Boy and the kids. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll see. If yeah. I can, I'll be right He's here. He's a good guy. Yeah. And so I look 
with seeing him. And then he's going to bring with him radio personality, Marsha Taylor. Uh, Marsha is from Fort Payne. And she used to be with a radio station in Fort Payne. And then Chad, better known as Chig Martin, is going to be with us. I'm looking forward to meeting him. He's an independent candidate. Independent. And I'm a state governor, so I'm looking forward to seeing him. Now, remember, every day... Sally, we're in a different place. I know. You know how it is. I couldn't yes. stay confined. She could not sit still. Long. It's hard to do. You know, I'm claustrophobic. Me I was too. in the studio. Mm -hmm. No window. See, I got that big picture window right there. <laughs> <Exactly. you> know, <laughs> right <now. laughs> so Phil is right at the station running the board for me right now. But on Mondays, we're at Shepherd's Cove Thrift Shop mm -hmm. in Albertville. Had a lot of fun there. And then on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, except for one Wednesday of the month, we're here at the Alabama Fan Club. But I'm, I'm at Hardy's. In Rainsville. Yeah. And I love that. I mean, have such a good time there. And then on Thursdays and Fridays, we're live on the square in Scottsboro at the Kudzu Cafe. I you got to come to the Kudzu Cafe. Come, yeah. You yeah. would love it. These awesome sandwiches and stuff they yeah. have. And so now the other day, uh, other night, we always have date night. That's and so, sweet. But I was a little tired. Phil was a little bit tired, but you know. And I said, let me stop by Hardy's in Rainsville. And Phil said, oh, yeah, get me that <laughs> Angus burger. He loves the Angus. <laughs> Angus is better so, than yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is. It's all that meat that thick. And I'm gonna tell you, it was a, it was a good one. Yeah, it was a good they, burger. They, they got the good. they got the Southwest burger there too. They always had good meat, from what I can understand. Mm -hmm. so. They do, and so go out there and support them. And you know, those folks are really supporting us too. And especially the mom and pop places like that. They we you know we mm -hmm. have to keep supporting them where they come in these big industries and they're gone. Mm -hmm. and that's what's happening. That's and, true. Yeah, you know, that's killing somebody's dream. I mean. Come mm -hmm. on, you know, if you help your people. You know? Yeah, <laughs> help your own. Exactly. And that's exactly what we do. Well, Sally, 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 yes, every yes, time yes. I, I don't know how she does this. Okay, so you've got this talent of writing songs, mm -hmm. and we've got a lot of, of new listeners out there, so I just wanted to say this real quick. One, I was kind of having this weird moment, and it was early in the morning. Yep. And, and I'm thinking, yeah. I'm just going to move back to Charlotte, North Carolina. I mean, I was just saying that over and over again. Phil, we're going to move back. You know, I was saying that over and over. And you send this poem. It was a song. Mm -hmm. And that made my morning. Well, that's like I said. Now, God, it's amazing. Usually songwriters start when like eight, nine years old. They'll say, I wrote my first song when I was 12, you know. And I was too busy being a kid making good grades <laughs> in sports and stuff that I didn't even think about. It. And But once I started... You know, about 16 years ago, mm -hmm. it's j literally when I first started, I'd have two or three a day, just and God just kept feeding me. And every time I have to go and I say this, they'll say, Mommy's gonna go right, leave her alone because I, I look no the matter door what is I'm shut, doing, buzz I'm on. up and I run <laughs> because if I don't, I will forget it and it never comes back. And it's happened I mean, one time, I had a whole song in my head and I'm running, I'm running, John, John's, I'm in the bathroom, I'm like, Dang, get out. <laughs> so that one's gone. That one was went down the toilet with John. <laughs> but no, it's it's all from God. He gives it to me, and I just. But like, they're they're so inspiring, and it just I've always wished I could do something like that. I've got a feeling she can sing too. Well, that's the thing is like I would love to sing, and actually, and I said this last time too. There's a video on my YouTube page. If you want to go follow me, I really appreciate that. Um, where uh, me and John were driving around the circle and a spirit in the sky came on. And so, I mean, I was singing, and I couldn't believe I did it, but I sang it when I was live on, on the, the YouTube. And then it's like, I don't care if your ears are bleeding. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I had fun. So, it's not, I guess I could sing if I really I had lessons or something. I don't know. It's just the fact that my heart and my soul is behind those words. And mm -hmm. for those women out there, like I said, God gave me this feeling about you. And he's done it with a, a couple other people, but it's very rare. By the way, I'm not being rude. I'm sending Phil these little messages <laughs> yes, to make sure yes. the sound's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was just like he said, because we were having an interview. Either the next day or that day, I couldn't remember, but it was for you. And he said, you need to post this to her now. And it was like 5 o'clock in the morning, I think, when I posted it. But I just sent See, it to I her. Bet you didn't. I, that, was the, that was the point. Yeah. I bet you didn't even know I was awake. No, I didn't. And so I sent I didn't want anybody else to read it because it was, was for you and it was your cho choice to share it or not. I, it was because it was yours. 
and well, so it's, it's printed out now look at it a lot yeah and so that's, it that's, helps. that's what god goes you know somebody needs to hear this right now you know mm -hmm. a lot of things i write i have been through have gone through or know somebody who has mm -hmm. and so i try to help out as much as i can and especially god has brought so many people to me and want me to pray for them and, and my faith being so strong and i tell them you know that's because of him mm -hmm. he's he's my father everything that i have or do is from him and that's why i don't judge anybody it's not my place mm -hmm. you know i only have to answer for me mm -hmm. and so yeah i kind of have a full load just on my own <laughs> that, that, you know between kids or grandkids and everything else you know but it, it's it's a blessing mm -hmm. and you know of course everybody has you know, little cricks and cracks in their family, but in the odd toll of it all, we all love each other some way, somehow. Mm -hmm. So I'm just grateful, but it's it's from my heart, and I hope people, you know, I really, really <laughs> need singers, um, because that's why she said that, because I've written over, I quit counting, how long did I say ago? two or three years ago and it was like eight thousand then i mean i just write and i'll go for a week and not write nothing and i'll go a week and write 12. Mm -hmm. you know, it just depends on what god wants me to do and it's like every time somebody else send me i needed to hear that i mm -hmm. needed it. so it's not just therapy for me it helps other people and well, god you send me this song and then i'm i'm going does she have a camera in my house? I mean, yeah. <laughs> how did you know? <laughs> He's going, look, she needs a song there. <laughs> but but it, was, it was awesome. And I'm going to tell you what, you've never met a more genuine person than this girl right here. <laughs> never. Never. What you get. never. And, and you can tell by the things she puts on Facebook, because you put your heart. Oh, yeah. Even when you have, you do Facebook Live. Yes. And you do these things, and, and people can actually see the real inside of you. Yeah, and that's why, you know, when I don't get on for a while, people start going, we miss your writing, we miss you coming on. And it's like sometimes they don't know if people really want to see it or not, and then they come, no, we want to see it, we want to read it, you know. Um, yeah, but you know something about Facebook Live? You actually have more people watching than you think you have. Yeah, they just don't put it on there. Yeah, yeah. If, if they don't click on it. So you're helping somebody you don't even know, you don't. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just always had this feeling that we're here to help everybody. Exactly. We're, we're, I mean, whatever. And it could be some little tiny thing, or it could be somebody writing a song for you. It could be anything. Well, that's what I said. If I can make one person smile a day, then that's blessed to me. You made me smile. Yes, yeah, well, so, certainly well, did. Well, your family, I mean, God, that's what I know. Hearts, 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 everybody. Um, everybody. Look at all those hearts. Because they know they don't mean I go, hearts, 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 um, it, it just, I always was taught to treat people the way you want to be treated. Mm -hmm. And I've lived by that. You know, God is my father. And, you know, if he wants me to write the song, I'm going to write the song. <laughs> Until he's ready for me to quit, I will keep on doing it. Because I, I love it. I don't think he'll ever let me quit. Because it's not only, like I said, a therapy for me. But it is for other people, too. Mm -hmm. So, I'm grateful. I just hope. Maybe like a band. I mean, if you hear one of my demo, like YouTube, I have a YouTube page. It's Sally, and Facebook. It's everything Sally. Instagram, uh, Sally G. Sally I G. I, I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, Sally G. Is a lot Sally of, G. It, Sally G. Is, is my uh, <laughs> other one. Anyway, if you my songs on ReverbNation dot com, if you go there and just type in my name. My the demos will come up, and if you hear any of those songs, you don't have to do them like you hear them. If you want to change something, I want them to work with people. You know, I want it to be a partnership. So I give you the words, and you have fun with it, make it a great song, and then we're good. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's hard because so many people are singer songwriters now, and they write their own, so they don't need me, and so that's why it's hard. Because like I have so many just sitting there waiting, and and like. Turn and Walk Away, which I wrote like oh, man. years ago. I and love it's that still song. sitting there. If I could I'd, I'd sing it. That is I, that is the most beautiful song. That's probably one of my favorite that, ones. Daddy said lyrically it was one of his favorites. I mean. mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it's one that I, I'm proud of. And, and I maybe we can talk to Miss King about that again. <laughs> Frankie. Frankie. Are you listening? <laughs> I can see Frankie singing I, that song. I told you when the first time I said mm -hmm. I heard her voice. I said, that's what I, I said. Mm -hmm. She'd be perfect for turning and walk away. And then she listened to it and texted me. She goes, I don't know if I could. Care. I'm like, that you would rock it, girl. <laughs> she has this talent and doesn't even know she does. 
Uh, you can't say oh. she's stuck on herself, oh, no. and you most certainly can't say you are either. <laughs> both of you have this talent, it, but we both doubt ourselves it, so much. And you're, you're both—I mean, you're both humble and everything, and which is good. But but I'd like to see y'all blossom a little more because you, some people have it and some don't, and you and Frankie do. <laughs> well, I'm just like you either grow and be happy, and if you can't be that way, stay away from other people because you don't ruin their day. And it's okay to have a bad day every now and then, as long as you know it's every now and then, you know. But you can get through anything. Yeah, you know, well, there's. Let me ask you a question. Okay. How? Because I'm, President Trump, I, I've never seen anybody dumped on more than this guy. Is. It, I don't know it, how it kills he, me. It I don't kills know how he me. does it. But but somehow he's able to just. And this and is, go on. It's how can he's, we do he, that? Well, that's the thing is that people, these people that are saying. Killery and, and all these other people. Yes, I have names for them. I do not call them whatever. It's killer. <laughs> it's it's Killery and then Odama and Michael, and these people did nothing. I mean, there are more. There's more. Like for example, Killery and you know Clinton, who was impeached by the way. Um, she didn't stand by her man when he cheated because she, well, she said she wouldn't like Tammy Wynette. Well, she said because she had her own women, mm -hmm. so that's why she didn't care. People don't know that they don't look, and it's right in front of your face. And she, you know, having all those problems and seizures, and she's never to leave him Benghazi, and they're gonna vote for her. I just, like I said, you don't have to like Trump if you don't like him. He's done more for this country than. I can't tell you the last president that had I can't our, think well Reagan. Yeah, that probably the last one mm -hmm. because everybody else is it's it's well, we have a guy who's gonna be on the show mm -hmm. and he's running as an independent for governor of the state of Alabama. Mm -hmm. So he's an independent and I kind of think I, I'm probably more because I'm not into establishment. I, I'm not into and I'm not into establishment Democrat or Republican. Well see I've studied this for so long. I mean I really got into it. 15, 15 years ago, I really got into it, and I started really studying about these people and the people that work. Let me tell you something, and this is the honest to God truth. I don't you care if there's a Phil's D. Phil's telling me to move this back a little bit. Okay, I don't care if there's a D in front of their name or R in front of their oh, name. Yeah. When they go back behind doors, they're all in bed together. It, it, it. They are a president is selected, not elected. And why they don't like Trump so much is because he's not a politician. He's a businessman, and that's how he's running. And that's and we, like I said again, we're doing better now than we've done in how many years. And people Decades. still bash him, and bash him, and killing people over it. Yeah, him. but you know something, and I know this is rough on him. I really do. But yeah. I don't have to tell you, he helps me. Yeah, he he has no clue he's helping me because. It, it and I'm not having to go near what he's having to go through, but but if somebody I want everybody to like me, yeah, and you're that yeah, way. Yeah, we yeah, want everybody to like yeah. us. Now it just kills. It's, we'll do anything, but yeah. so, <laughs> and that's just not going to happen. Yeah, but but I'm bad at you know I'll, I'll keep it with me, and I'm like, well, what can I do to change myself? What can I do? What I do? Yeah. And sometimes some people just don't like you. Exactly. I yeah. mean, that's just how it is. I mean, I've said I've said that to people. I remember like maybe an example. This one woman. I didn't know who she was, and it was right after our first interview, mm -hmm. and I had John, I want to take a picture of my hair, so I tie like this, and he was getting a profile, and like a piece of hair was kind of coming this way, and it was a big deal, and I posted a woman out of nowhere, comes up and goes, I don't think, I don't know who you think you are, and that piece of hair in your face looks stupid, and like, I didn't even know who she was. And then this is the that best. was an unhappy person. This is the best. A couple of weeks ago, I had a woman call, uh, text me on my um, Facebook, and tell me that Teddy was not my daddy. That my mom and dad were divorced and they were married, and that I needed to go around and stop telling lies because I wasn't his daughter, and that and they've been divorced and she's been with my daddy. I'm going. My daddy's sitting in the living room with my mother right now and me and my children. Are, I remember that. And I, I remember I'm, thinking. I'm going, this woman's crazy. You know, a lot of a lot of preacher's kids have had to go through stuff. Yeah. You know, Bless because they're yes. kind of picked on, oh, yeah. you know, if you're if you're a preacher's kid. And people are always looking for something to get on you. Oh, yeah. Or and, they're wanting something from you so you don't know if they're real or not. You know, right, and so. I know you've got not your dad was a preacher, but but out you know in the public eye, so yeah. you've had to put up with stuff, yeah, people. But how do you? 
She seems to hold it together. How do you hold it together? You know, because it's just their opinion. Because there's a lot of people who are going through stuff right now. Well, you know, number one, God, uh, there is not a thing I could get through in this life without him. Phil must be watching this one instead of this one up here. Let's move, let's <laughs> move it back a little bit. Um, That's better. That way you can see us Oh, better. yeah. Okay. Um, what was I saying now? <laughs> well, we're talking about I mean, people going I through. I have brain farts all the time. So. <laughs> Join the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> But it's just situations. A lot of people are going oh, through stuff right with that. now. Oh, that. You know, it's funny growing up. Everybody, and we, this was known, but not, like, spoken. Remember, like, Randy was number one. Daddy was number two. Jeff was number three. And that's the way kind of fans treated them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and I was always friendly. Daddy always had us around. And I remember signing autographs when I was, like, six or seven mm -hmm. years old, you know. Um, but you watch, there is... Ten times more nasty people than there are good people in the industry, and so you get used to different people, different attitudes. And I guess I wanted to know how I would be in any situation because when you're dealing with music and it's live, you never know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So you know, if it's like Daddy, for example, every show he does, a, "You Are So Beautiful," and he'll do it. He dedicates it to me and my mom and the girls. And, you know, I had somebody the other day pop up and said, you know what, you need to be thanking so-and-so, um, and you need to be thanking us for all the clothes you had and the food you ate because we were the ones that paid. And I'm just going, how many times I've thanked the fans? How many times I've said they love you? How many? And I'm, and they're going, they still, and they still bring up the Mark thing, and that's... But don't you think the whole thing is just sheer jealousy? It is, and it's uh, people who assume things reading from nasty magazines that aren't true like yeah. or whatever or they're going by hearsay and mm -hmm. the thing is is that they don't have a problem with each other when they went back on the road they offered him his job back he was already with Leah C. right mm -hmm. he said thank you but no mm -hmm. and that's it if they don't have a problem with each other nobody else should either the, rumors, you know? rumors 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 it's sad I, I, and and this is another thing if, if somebody tells a rumor on somebody, before you sit there and take that side, I'd find out both sides of the There's story. There's three sides to the story. The, your, yours, mine, and the truth. Yeah. You know, and so it's like... Because there have been a lot of, and, and I'm using President Trump again, yeah. there are a lot of things that have been said about him. We went to see him when he was in Birmingham. This was before he became president. He was on the campaign yeah. trail. Nothing like the news media said yeah. he was no. nothing like and it. And the fake news, thank God somebody's finally stepping up and saying, quit lying to the people. If you're not going to tell the truth, you're not going to talk to me. Mm -hmm. And he, he's he been the only one that, like I said, the reason why they hate him and they keep standing is because he's not a politician. Mm -hmm. He is a... But that's what attracted me. That's what made me want to vote for him. But he loves because this country. And he loves what it stands for. And that's what he has done this whole time is make sure everybody knows that we're mm -hmm. the best and we're going to stay the best. Mm -hmm. And if, you know, so far, tell me what he's done so wrong. I, I could tell you by now, Obama and Michael and everybody could tell you all they've done by now. Mm -hmm. He's done nothing but stand up for what's right, stand up for the truth, and try to do the best he can with all the hate that's thrown Yeah, but at you him. know what? You got to... If you're running for office, it doesn't matter if you're Mitt Romney, who's a Republican, whoever you are, it, you need to <laughs> step back and notice a few things. First of all, he could come to Geraldine, Alabama, where I live, and mm -hmm. I promise you 50,000 people would show up oh, somehow. Yeah. We would have to find room he, for them all. Everywhere he goes. He still attracts exactly. a huge crowd. But a few that hate him. Mm-hmm. Are yeah, the, but but then but then the these guys, oh, the, the, the mayor in New York, um, you know, he's got Judge Judy on his side, yeah. and so he's arguing the fact. And what happened <clears> is he had this thing, and Judge Judy was going to introduce him and all this, and and I think they said like eighteen people showed up or whatever, and then he argued argued the fact that thirty something people showed up, and I'm sitting here thinking. I would be embarrassed to say 30 people exactly. showed up. Exactly. I was going to say, what, what, how's that better? <laughs> when thousands go to President <laughs> Trump. So you really, and, and this, is what, this is what I like to say, and this is whether you're on the local level in politics 
or you're on regional or you're on a national level of politics, you really need to be listening to your people. Yes. You need to be listening That's to That's what's them. wrong is nobody listens to what people say we need help. Because we live this life. We pay your salary. So we know what we need. We know mm -hmm. what the problems are. And instead of coming in on your high horse thinking you're going to run everything, and like they're doing to him now with this impeachment, it's ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. We still don't have Obama's birth certificate, and they didn't mm -hmm. do this to him. Mm -hmm. You know, there there is so much that I could tell you. All I could say, I studied this. I haven't well, watched TV. And in I'll tell you what, fair years. game is fair game. Exactly. I, I didn't like it when they picked on President Trump's son. No, and some, that's some wrong. Some idiot was making fun of his name. That's wrong. And, I mean, it was just you know, just silly, silly stuff. So think about this kid. Um, of course, he's growing up now. Yeah, but, but he still. What's wrong he's with, like, yeah. What's wrong with being successful, by the way, and working hard? Because it's not who they want. Oh, okay. Now, when when your dad's group got started, mm -hmm. okay, they didn't start out with hit songs. They had no. to work their way to it. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, all through their schooling, my dad was a carpet layer. He was put at a carpet laying uh, warehouse in Cookville, Tennessee, and they wanted him to run it. Mm -hmm. And at that time is when they were got, you can go to Myrtle Beach and play at this bar for tips. So they decided to load up and go. And when you want something bad enough and it's a part of who you mm -hmm. are, they play at the Bowery for tips for seven years. Randall, my mom and dad ran a little half trailer in a trailer park and my dad would get up in my yards all day play at the bowery all night and then stay after and clean the toilets to make extra money mm -hmm. because they had nothing and i said this on my story on my page if you ever get on and want to watch it uh <laughs> they're on the bus when they were starting out you know and and mark had said something about quitting now my daddy there's one word you do not use with my daddy <laughs> Quit. Let's quit. My dad <laughs> jumped the table, and if it wouldn't have been Greg Fowler, I love you if you're out there. He jumped in the middle of him, or my, he would have, Mark had a black eye. My dad was like, there's no quit, you know? But seven and a half years just at the Bowery, mm -hmm. not counting when they were here. Mm -hmm. And that's when they got mm -hmm. signed. And when they got signed, what was crazy is they'd already promised like 12 other shows mm -hmm. to these little places. Mm -hmm. And they made sure to do every one of those little shows before they would do anything mm -hmm. with RCA. So they've not only earned it, but, you know, they truly, this is this was their calling. Mm -hmm. I mean, they. my dad farms too. We have chickens and he writes and he's a great songwriter and, and all that and producer and he, he he's like he can't quit moving you know mm -hmm. he's just constantly going and like you yeah <laughs> yeah pretty much the same way yeah but he's he's one of those guys that he's real quiet he's kind of shy and he don't like talking a whole bunch but but if you've got a dream that's another thing yeah a lot of folks they say well i i can't get up in front of people i i can't do this i can't do that but if you've got that dream it's something you, you, you do, it. do yeah. it. Yeah, you've I mean, got to. And if you don't do it, you will not ever do it. You have to. It's like you know, one thing I learned when I went to Arizona. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that happen in our lives that are painful, and we and we dig it deeper and deeper and mm -hmm. deeper. And what happens is your body reacts to the negativity like cancer, and it will spread, and you get arthritis, and you get the. But see, when you give it all to God and say, "What you give me with your help, God, help me get through this." And there's always going to be somebody having a hard day, mm -hmm. every day. But just know that there's not anything that he's not there with you for. And that's what's gotten me through so much, whether it's when I was little growing up and there weren't a lot of people around because dad mm -hmm. and they were gone. Or, you know, just being out. Um, it was just always my faith, you mm -hmm. know. And I, I tried to be the best child I could be and the best mom and all that. But, yeah, I'm human but, and mess up. But Yeah, but I'm going to tell you, there, there are some famous people who have kids that don't turn out like you. And uh, that, no, I've seen it. I'd like, me. To, <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to talk about that when we come back. Okay. Raising your kids, because I'm going to tell you what, I was a, when I met you the first time, I thought, she's not messed up. <laughs> Uh, I'm talking. I won't even mention this we other were, girl's maybe name. Maybe we just both messed I'm up. Not I think that's what it is. We're both messed up. But there's a girl. I won't mention her name. Her, her dad's a famous singer, and that girl, boy, she's just 
She messed up. Yeah, there's a, well, there's a lot of people in the nurse up too. So. Well, there's a lot of preacher's <laughs> daughters that are messed up too. So and sons. That's yeah. all. That's all through life. That's yes. just the way it is. Let's go ahead and cut to a break. Okay. And we're going to come back in just a few minutes, and we got a bunch of uh, folks who won some stuff. Oh Ooh, yay! Way. Look at we that. We like giving away. Page. We'll be right back in just a few minutes. Y'all hang in there, okay? Okay. Phil, are you looking at Sally's Facebook, or are you? This is at me mine? live, because we're. Sh I mean, we got. You can see us good on on mine. Yeah. I'm just this for mine. Okay. Yeah. I bet he's looking at yours because we're not real close together. Yeah. Let's move this back. Let's put it right there. Hi, 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 hi. Hey, 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 everybody. I hope you are doing good. I know this was kind of short notice. I didn't give a heads up till last night. That's my bad. I'm sorry. But I had a doctor's appointment this morning. So I had to, we left here at 6.30 in the morning because it's two hours away. And then I had to come back. And I Don't got you back. love going to the doctor? Well, and it's just, it's just sort of for like my, it's right? every two months. I have to go for like my check it to make sure it's still the same, mm -hmm. you know. But um, he's an amazing doctor. And I'm not giving his name. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's just. Having fun in Fort Payne today. Love being with in this Fort lady. Payne. I, I mean, um, you know what? The Cal County. Beautiful yeah. area. Yeah. That's the things that I've uh, been so blessed to go to like every state in the U.S. except for Alaska and Hawaii. And I got to go to Canada. And there are some amazingly gorgeous states. Like Oregon's one of the greenest, most lush, beautiful states I ever saw. The big sequoia of a forest in California where you can drive I'd through the trees. I'd love to go there. I would you know, love to see that. And saw Yosemite and the Grand Canyon mm -hmm. and all that, you know. And so blessed to see so many beautiful, when I was in Arizona, to see the, the just the rock and how they've carved, you know, things. Mm -hmm. And it's just amazing. And, but... There's never, never, ever anything like when we're driving home and I see that Fort Payne sign. But I'm going to tell you what, North Carolina is a lot like Alabama. Yeah. Because they, you know, we always say, you know, we'll either go to the mountains on one side of the state or go to the, go yeah. to the yeah. water on the other side. Go to the beaches out there. North Carolina is the same way. You get Asheville and all that out mm -hmm. in there is the mountains, and then you go out there to the water on the other yeah, side. Yeah, true. That's yeah. true. That's, that's, that's an awesome it, place, It too. reminded me of, and, and the... And the greenery, the trees, oh, I mean, yeah. everything about North Carolina reminded me, except the people, reminded me of Alabama. Yeah. It's just the landscapes. And, and, the, and it's not so fast-paced that, you know, like, it's like a big city, you know what I mean? Everybody mm -hmm. still kind of does their own thing, you know? And Oh, my goodness. People yeah. in Charlotte, North Carolina, I'll tell you what they would say. <laughs> because Charlotte grew fast. Yes, and when did. we first moved there, I think it was like three hundred thousand people, which is still a big city to me because mm. I'm from Geraldine. Yeah, and so so we lived there, and this place grew overnight. That I mean, it was just we were having all kinds of growing problems and and stuff. You and know, the, and that's the things you see all the the construction going around. They were still nice. Yeah, I mean these people, and you could tell the ones who were who were born in Charlotte, North Carolina, because they would, they, and they watched the show they and all the these things. And, <laughs> and really, they were. And they would say, now, where do you live? And I would say where I live. And they'd say, oh, yeah, that's where so-and-so gin mill used to be or something like that. Yeah. And the thing about Charlotte is there were just different spots of city. It, and the, there's the big, big skyline There's like different little metropolises. But this, kind of, yeah. Yeah, all over the... You would think, we'd just... Phil and I would just ride around. Brad, you know, Brad wasn't married yet. And so we would just ride around and Phil would say, well, I guess this is it. It looks like this is, the, <laughs> this is the rural part right here. And all of a sudden, you'd see a whole bunch of shopping centers and stuff. That's what happened Myrtle Beach, too. Yeah. Same thing, because the Bowery... I mean, one of the biggest thing there was the pavilion. Mm -hmm. And they took that down. And, like, Daddy's in them song Shag Out on the Boulevard, they name real places that are still there. Mm -hmm. You know, like Pink's and, and things like that, you know, but people don't realize, you know, if you have a dream, the only person stopping you is you, you know, and if God gives you <laughs> but you know what people in Charlotte, North Carolina used to say? They all thought I was either from Texas. They would say, you from Texas? I guess because of my voice, you know. And I'd say, no, Alabama. And they'd go, where at? And I would say, I, I got to, I just didn't say Geraldine because nobody knew where Geraldine, Alabama yeah. was. And I'd say, the Huntsville area, or I'd say, Fort Payne. And they would always sing, and Alabama. from Fort Payne, Alabama. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, I get, and I get people that... You know, they'll want me to play, like, I play, like, one of Daddy's songs every now and then, because I know the fans like to do that. And I don't go, okay, um, I'm about to go in. I'm okay. about to go in. Okay. 
Okay, we're about to go in. Next time I'll do my hair. <laughs> foot in my head. We're on. My name is Donna Fiesel, and I'm your host of Afternoon Drive Home. Thank you so much for listening to us every day, Monday through Friday from 1 to 3 p.m. Central, as I get to ride home with you in the afternoon. Sally and I are going to go ride home with you, so yeah. uh, it's not really cold out there, no. but, but we really don't need to be in the convertible because it might rain on us. True. Sure. So, I agree. Or the back of a pickup thing at work. Pickup will be fine, though. Well, I don't mind if my hair's messed up anyway. Oh, me either. You it's going to be a couple of days before it looks decent. True that. It's got to be dirty. Yeah, because today so. it was clean. So it takes a couple of days. It's real clean. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not going to do anything today. But thank you again so much for listening. We do appreciate it. And thank you so much for for um, shopping with our sponsors. We yes, definitely. We doing that. I wanted to go ahead and mention, we got a bunch of winners here. we got the giveaway Everybody's page. a winner. Everyone's a winner. Yes. Now, if you would like to be part of the birthday club, the anniversary club, or date night club, you got to let me know, okay? Send an email to Donna at AfternoonDriveHome.com. That's Donna at AfternoonDriveHome.com. <laughs> Happy anniversary to Joe and Charlotte Cologne. You guys Happy won a, you won two gift cards to Santa Fe Cattle Company, just right down the road from us. Well, you know it. Right here. And it's sponsored by Bruce's Foodland, brucesfoodland.com. I love Bruce's Foodland. Do you know that in Scottsboro and in Fort Payne, and let's say you're working and you got to go pick up kids for soccer, football, and all that kind of stuff, you really don't have time to shop for groceries. If you go online, brucesfoodland.com, put everything to a cart, pay for it, let them know what time you're going to come by and pick it yeah, up. Ready. Make sure, now it's at the time you say. Because yeah. you ice cream by mail. Yeah. So make sure it's close as you can yeah. to pick it up. They'll have it ready for you. So you don't that's have to. That's awesome. Really? Especially for the elderly people and things like yeah. that. Yeah. That's just and, wonderful. And busy mommies. Oh, yes. I remember those days. <laughs> oh, I remember those days. Had to go to daycare and pick Brad up and all that. So this is really handy. Bruce'sFoodland.com. Happy you. anniversary to Rhonda and Eric Morris, who won a $15 gift card to Bona Vista Mexican Restaurant. You guys got to come out there with us to Bona Vista sometime. They're located in Scottsboro. And Bona Vista is really neat because you can, like, if you just want to have a little date night, you and your honey, get your privacy and all that. What's or that? if you like me and you, you want to fuck one party. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that, too. So they can accommodate anything you're looking for. This is a huge place. So it's just like, go <clears throat> come as you are and have fun. Just have a bunch of fun. Yeah. And this is brought to you by Vicki Sanders Allstate. You're in great hands with Vicki. This is where Phil and I have all of our insurance through. Vicki Sanders all state. Vicky is awesome. And she's out there in Scottsboro too. Um, date night, congratulations to Kim Kilpatrick. You know, Kim sent me a private message and she said, I've never won anything before. And I said, well, yeah, I've now, girlfriend. <laughs> she won a $25 gift. She was calling to make sure it was true. True. I was going to see what she's got. <laughs> I said, it's real. Somebody called you name in and you have a to prank. win it. <laughs> $25 gift certificate to Applebee's oh, of that's Buttersville. Great. And this is brought to you by the law offices of Marcy Foster. My friend Marcy nice. has been a sponsor She's for how many sweet. years now? Oh, She's, She's been precious, since day though. one. Since yeah. day one. Yeah. Um, also, date night, congratulations to Larry and Kathy Gray. You guys won a $20 gift certificate to Vintage 1889 right wow. down the road from us right yeah. here. Hooking sisters and brothers up. <laughs> you know something? They have this really neat courtyard out there. Mm. Have you ever been? Mm. Oh, you got to go to the courtyard. Not now. It's too cold and it's too rainy. <laughs> Don't <laughs> go now. In the summertime, it's nice. Nathaniel Ledbetter was running for office, and so he would have events out there all the time. And he'd ask me to come, and I'd take pictures and stuff. And so there was a, a lady who made these really neat apple pies, homemade yeah. apple pies, like the fried apple pies. Yeah. Oh, Miss mm. Martha, Randy's my grandma mama. made. I'm, I'm talking, they were really good. So everybody would come out there and say, "Did that lady come and bring the apple pies?" <laughs> and so Nathaniel said. Look at this crowd that's here. And I said, I hate to break this to you, but I think they're here for the apple that pies. pies. <laughs> <laughs> I said, like Randy's mama, she makes the best fried apple pies. Oh, my mouth's watering thinking She's about awesome. that. She probably uses lard and all that. Uh, oh, that's what makes the crust. Oh, yes. That's it's, what makes the crust flaky. Oh, yeah. It definitely. really does. It makes the best. Now, this is brought to you also by the law offices of Marcy Foster. She's and I wanted awesome. to say something about Marcy. She She's a divorce attorney, and she's also a financial attorney. So if you need help financially, she'll help you out that way as well. And but I want to say this about divorces: she really wants don't fight during your, your during your divorce. And if you want to tick her off when you're going through a divorce, talk bad about the other one. You she can't do that. Upset, yeah. Because of, this is what it can do to your kids. You got to think about this. Okay? Exactly. And I went through a divorce, Max, and I went to the same attorney. 
and and just split everything. That's all we did. We didn't have a whole bunch of money that went to court costs. No, we ain't that. gonna go there on my end. So <laughs> <laughs> just don't. And I know sometimes it's hard. It's hard, and you want to say something, but not in front of the kids. Okay? Yes. And but but Marcia will talk to you, and she's helped save marriages. Yes. And because they they would not say, you know, sometimes your mouth can be a loaded gun. I know. And you can say stuff you don't need to say. And so yeah. you know, folks, that she'll say, no, wait a minute. Think about it. Even out of anger, you, you can't do Watch that. Watch it. Yeah. And, and a lady actually called in, and I'm going to tell you, Marcy, she's pretty, I bet she eats nails for breakfast. She's pretty, she's pretty tough. Yeah. And so, but one time she was on the show, and I actually saw a tear come over her eye because a lady called, and she said, Marcy, you didn't know, don't know this, I just want to tell you, that you saved my son and my daughter-in-law's marriage. Oh. And she didn't even know she did. But what happened is the mother-in-law had been listening to Marcy on the air, so she found out they were not getting along with each other too well. They were mm -hmm. filing for divorce. And she said, and now I've heard this attorney on Donna's show say, don't talk out of anger, and, and especially don't fuss in front of the kids. Okay? No, and Keep don't call. Email. If they go, why? Say, go ask mommy then. Or, like, my, like, our biggest problems, like the grandparents, they would, like, from that other side, they try to sabotage everything. And it's like, you have to, you came together as a family. You have to leave as a, you don't have to like each other, but at least respect each other enough in front of your kids to know that they still have a mom and dad, love them. They might not can live together, but to put kids in the middle, that's just, that's, Kids need all the love. Exactly. Oh, they because need they the blame love. themselves most of the time anyway. They, they think they're the reason yeah. for it, and they're not. No, they're nowhere and near. So, so yeah. anyway, just watch what you say to those kids, yes. and, and kids got to be first, okay? Yes. Um, happy birthday to Sue Wilkins. Sue's been on the show several times. And she won a $30 gift certificate to the Greenleaf Grill. Oh, that's a good there, meal. Jimmy Rogers. Well, I'm going to tell you what, Jimmy Rogers sure does love President Trump. Uh, yep. He supports him big time. So, anyway, go out there and check out. They have Fresh Fish Night on Friday nights. We need to go out there sometimes. Definitely. Too. The four of us need to just go have some fun. And Fresh Fish. And they also, he shops local. You know, he goes to farmer's markets and buys food. That sounds like my, you know, like my dad, if we're riding on the side of the road and you see the little man, that he always stops and gets. Support him. Yeah, always. It's going to be the best food. It's yeah. not going to have any preservatives. No, no none, of that, none of that stuff they, on Antibiotics it. and uh -uh. stuff they no. do now. No. Yes, everybody can't. It, it, if it looks good and it looks good for days, there's a reason for it. There's some kind of preservative. <laughs> they took a McDonald's hamburger and left that thing for a year and it looked the same when it came out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm, if you ever drop french fries in your car Good. and then and then like it doesn't get clean for six months because you got winter and all this stuff coming on. It's still on. looking like a brand new French it looks, <laughs> It's petrified. You gotta think about that what that's doing to your body. Exactly. So yeah, we, so we, we be careful. Eat, yeah, we be careful. <laughs> Happy birthday to Dan Townsend. Won a $10 gift certificate to the Western Happy Sizzling. Birthday. This is sponsored by Dr. Galen McCullough, who's the owner and operator at McCullough Plastic Surgery and Day oh, Spa. He was one of my there. first sponsors. I need Botox. Well, I'm a, he's the one you want to go to. Um, he was one of my first my first TV show. Yeah. Known him that long. Wow. And, oh, he used to play for Coach Bear Bryant. In oh, the 60s. Wow. That's cool. And he's written that's... some books about that. And he's wanting to be on the show, and we can't seem to get it worked out. Um, but he has written several books about playing for Coach Bear Bryant. That's awesome. And how that made him a success in business. My dad met, met him one time, Mr. Bryant, and uh, uh, he said he was nothing, he was. he was only serious about, and I spoke about his whiskey, his hat and his team and that was it and he wouldn't talk to anybody else about anything else but nothing else. nothing nothing and but he always said you know like if there was a tie or something he would always say a tie is a loss mm -hmm. he would not you know that's why people loved him because he did love those that's why I save him you know his his players really respect they him. do and they love him and and they and they're broken when they they feel they, you know, let him down, and um, but well, he's a good coach. Yeah, you know, Joe Namath, you know, mm -hmm. you wouldn't let him play that game one time. Mm -hmm. He stayed out too late, yep. and he had a curfew for those players. Mm -hmm. They had to be back by a certain time. And well, Joe Namath was going to do what he wanted to do, yep. and didn't get to play. He still did. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was kind of, and, and also, he, he was even kind of coach. This is back when the hippie movement was going on, you know, and yeah. guys had long hair. He didn't want the guys to have long hair either. It was almost like being in the in the army or something. Like a cult or something. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. So they couldn't have long hair. But you know, that's what it's like. 
it, somebody, what, if you're working for somebody, they set standards. Yes. And if you agree to work there, you need to you have the standards. Yeah, that goes with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, happy birthday to Erica Cookston, Sandra Dearman. And Sandra, I think she's from here, from Fort Payne. And to Katie Griffin, you want to buy one, get one free, large barbecue mm -hmm. with a sandwich and a drink, the Holy Smokes Barbecue, yeah, located in Scottsboro. It's really good. He makes really good. Barry makes, Barry Shelton's the owner. It's my I've business. Heard. I've and heard. And he makes the best briskets. He really does. And you can order it to go. And, uh, and he also and caters, it, by the way. And turkey legs. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! He makes awesome turkey. Like he is good. And this is brought to you by my friend Jennifer Chapman. Hey Jennifer, she's the owner of Cloud Nine Vapor and CBD. And you know what? Her business has expanded. It's she's, wonderful. She it's kind is of like so this good. little mall she has. It's, I'm and, so glad that people are getting into oh. that because it it it's something that's in our bodies anyway. Mm -hmm. We have CBD in our bodies, mm -hmm. and me with the issues I have, you know, I know that it, it helps take that little bit of edge off, you know? It does, and, and I use the CBD oil. That's what I do. And I time. use the balance. It's called the balance. And, and so she so she was telling me about the CBD oil, and I'm like, well, you know, I'm so wimpy. I mean, I feel always lasts. If I've got a headache, he'll say, just open the bottle and smell it. Don't take one. <laughs> Because I'm one of those. I have low tolerance, I mean, you know, or high tolerance is what you'd call it. And so I can't, you know, like if I ever go to like have the flu or anything like that, mm -hmm. I will tell the doctor, you know, give me like the child, whatever the child <laughs> would be with whatever medication you're giving me or else I'll just take a quarter of the pill. I can see you whatever. coming in with a shot and a sucker. Here, honey. <laughs> Take this, take care of yourself. But I take, I take it too, and it's it's balanced. Mm -hmm. So you know, you, sometimes you'll have stress going on in your life. We all do from time to time. And sometimes you wake up, and you just can't sleep. You yep. can't sleep the entire night. It just helps. So I just take relax. a half a drop yeah. of that. And, but then, it's natural. And, and I've never been one to take sleeping pills. I don't even like taking NyQuil because I wake up in the morning and I'm just dragging. It's, you feel like you have yeah, it's over. like, oh yeah. my God. Yeah. You can't concentrate, you know. Well, it's not the way, it's not that way with this. No, it's actually, like I said, since your body produces it already, you're not going to have a bad reaction mm -hmm. to it. And actually, it just helps. You don't feel weird on it. You don't, it's not like you get... I've had people say, do you yeah. get high? Yeah, high. You no, get it's high not that it. part it's of not, it. But if you took, if you tried to get high, <laughs> and, and I'll have to, Jennifer's told me about this. She said, you know, you have people who come in and say, well, can you get, they want to get high yeah. on it. And she'll say, well, I got news for you. You take a couple of bottles of this, bottles of this, you're going to wind up going to the bathroom a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I can say to you. You're not going to get high. No. So if, if you're wanting it to get high, it's not going to no, work. No, that's not what it's for. And, and then if you're kind of like, if you're not a morning person, now I'm a morning person. No. And I'm not a <laughs> night person. I mean, I can go to sleep at the drop of a hat. And, but, but I'm a morning person. I like to get up early in the morning and get stuff done. And so if you're not one, you can take maybe half a dropper. Yeah. And it's not much. It's just mm -hmm. like I take do a dropper under my tongue mm -hmm. and three drops and that's yeah. it. That's all you got to do. And and the, the key is you got to let it kind of sit under your tongue for yeah. few, about, yeah. about a minute or something about, yeah. like that. And you just kind of let it sit for a little bit. And then and then within 15, 20 minutes, you kind of start feeling. You don't go, ooh, and it's not no, like that. No, it's not that. like drinking no. a pot of coffee or anything like that. But, you know, drinking too much coffee get, makes you jittery. Yeah. I'll, well, it's not like that. You just kind of all of a sudden go, oh. Okay. Oh, and you feel more alert. Yeah, yeah. And that's 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 what you need because we've got so much coming at us all the time. I, I have, mm -hmm. like, one of the things I did with is fibromyalgia, and it helps, you know, a little bit with that, too, to try mm -hmm. to calm. That's what it is, is your mm -hmm. nerves going crazy. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you have anything like that, you know, it's not going to hurt to try, and it's natural. Our bodies make it. Mm -hmm. And um, try it. And if it don't work for you, that's okay. But if it does, it's, it really does help. So. Well, go check her out. And yeah. I'm going to tell you something else. She is, She actually goes, she's about to be certified. She oh, wow. studies this stuff. I mean, it's not like she just opens up a door and sells it. She studies it. I lost it for a long time because John said I had cancer a few years ago. So oh. I went through, like, everything you could do. Mm -hmm. And literally between, like, if even... And he had stage four uh, pancreatic cancer. So wow. um, they put had him on like one medication he had. And it was for one week was $3,000. Mm -hmm. And this is with insurance. 
and mm. plus all the other medicine and make him sick so he couldn't eat so then mm. he got he lost all his weight well he did uh the CBD, but he also did the real marijuana therapy to where like, cancer patients and people who were, you know, mm -hmm. terminal, they get, let them do. And that helped him. He gained 30 pounds in a month because he could eat again because of that. Oh, wow. Um, it gives you an appetite. It doesn't make you sick. Mm -hmm. And you actually... I don't want the part where it gives you the appetite. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, most people don't need it, but when he... But yeah, when you're sick... Yeah, you and the medicine... He literally went from like 210 pounds to 170 pounds in like oh, a month. Nice. Yeah, so he was just like... And that's not good for you to lose it. That's mm -hmm. like going on a crash diet. Yeah, and he could have had a heart attack from that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, it was something... It's not for everybody, but mm -hmm. it, for him, it really... Within when a month, he was 30 pounds heavier and and he lived about five months longer than they gave him so we were grateful and thankful and um you know he's went home now and uh, i got chills i hear you dad uh, <laughs> but <clears throat> well, you yeah. can use this stuff topical too that's like if you've got a sore or something like that you can put it because it's a natural product so you I'm can use show. it yeah. You, you really can. But you know something? Her business has improved so much. It's really grown. And she has added two more businesses. So she has a business called Southern Gypsy Boutique. I and, like that. Oh, man. You need to go inside and check that store out. It's got all kinds of really neat stuff. And she also owns Something Old, Something New with her mom. Hold on. Keep, keep, keep talking. Mm -hmm. I'm about <laughs> So she owns all kinds of, I mean, you got to go check her out. And uh, so anyway, thank you again so much for all of your sponsorships. And thank you guys for supporting our sponsors. We appreciate that as well. Um, I keep looking over there at Bobby Ledbetter. <laughs> Bobby, can you see us? Now, what Bobby will do is he'll be looking at the show and I always see where he likes the show. Oh. You know? So he's probably listening to us right now. Bobby, why don't you just come over here and walk across the street and talk to us about your Bobby's cars. Dead. <laughs> Um, now, coming up the rest of the week, let me mention this to you. On Friday's show, Vicki Sanders with Vicki Sanders Allstate will be with us. And guess who else is coming? Who? Hey. Diamond and Silk. <gasps> Actually, they're not coming. They're going to be calling in. Oh, but I'm going to let you know now. They're going to be coming through to Huntsville. It's going to be a few months. I'm not sure when it's going to be. Just giving a hand. And, but they will stop by. And I'll have to probably wind up having to run an auditorium for them. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, we got a big old bay. Put them in. Chairs. There you go. Put them in the bay room out right there. <laughs> yeah. And so they're going to be on with us. And also, minister and singer Mike Keller is going to be with us on Friday. Now, on tomorrow's show, now remember, on Thursdays and Fridays, we are at the Kudzu Cafe on the square in Scottsboro. We want you to come by and check us out and wave at us. A lot of people do, Sally. Yeah? Yeah. It's You'll go down Willow Street, go West Willow Street. And then you'll see the post office mm -hmm. in Scottsboro. So you'll turn there, it'll be on the left, and you'll see us as, as you're facing the courthouse. We're on the left-hand side. Mm -hmm. So pull in and wave and talk to us. We'll be glad for you to do that. Uh, I bet you will. What I was trying to look for is I have a little jar, and it's the topical you're talking about. Uh -huh. And it's, it's just a little bit used, just a little bit, you know. And it, I use it for my neck a lot because of the bone spur. Mm -hmm. And it does. It just It's like a tingle. And it takes your mind off the pain. And what if you could use it for skin care? Yeah. I've been meaning to ask her about that. You can. You can. I mean, it literally is so moisturizing because it's uh -huh. natural. Uh -huh. You have to think about it. It is a plant. And actually, hemp back, you know, when the world started, that's what they used to build everything. Mm -hmm. It was the strongest. Straw and uh, bricks. You make, that's what they made bricks make out of. You can make clothes, it? straw, brick. Mm -hmm. You can make anything. I mean, anything out of hemp. The mm -hmm. plant. And it's like someone made a joke. It's a plant that God made it. And sometimes when it's lit on fire, there may be effects. <laughs> but Be not, careful. But, but, but with CBD oil, you don't have any. No, and that's what's in the... It was, it's just a little little jar, and it's one of the top made. But I know there's this stuff called Biofreeze, which I use too. And it comes in a spray, gel, and, and what does that do? Cream. It's basically the same thing, topical. Uh -huh. Like if your back's hurting, you're going to be back. Anywhere. Like Phil has a bad back, and, and it, sometimes it hurts when it, it rains. And it it's me. Every I, know, I can tell you when it's going to rain. I can mm -hmm. tell. I mean, my body lets me know. And But literally, it would be such a help to him. I'll bring you some when I come next time. But it used to be Topperson is what it was called. And it, was, and it, had, it, it was snake venom in it. Mm -hmm. 
and that's what gave that tingle and it was any bacteria and then they took that out and made biofreeze they took it over and so it, it is one of those with cdb in it but it also has other aloe and shade so it's moisturizing as well well you so. know like aloe you just mentioned aloe that's the best thing in it the is. world for a burn i have like eight because I, I, I do and it inside. grows like crazy <laughs> yeah. And I put that on my face. Yeah. I mean, I like the way my face feels oh, yeah. after I've exfoliated. And, and you also just coconut, get, coconut oil oh, for coconut your hair is awesome. so awesome. Too. And for your skin. And vinegar is good for your hair. Yes. It'll make it so shiny it's not even funny. I'm all into natural products. Yeah, me too. Okay, we're going to have to cut to a break. Can you believe this? And now we're just zoomed by. I know. It flew. It always well, does. And I got this girl right here with I love, me. Yeah, I, I love, love y'all. And remember, Facebook... YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all that. Look for me, and I will be going live, I hope, maybe this afternoon. And I'll see you again. And we're going to have to talk to Frankie King. Yes. Again. Please. We're going to get we'll her do that. She needs to sing that song. I'm telling you, I believe it more. I really do. She really does. Let's take care of each other. Guys. Love you. We'll be right back take in just a minute. Take care of each other. I know I love you, and God loves you. Absolutely. Bye bye, bye y'all. We'll be right back in just a minute. I hope y'all enjoyed that. We love y'all. Hey. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it. Bye. <laughs>